Okay, so here is version, I guess, three of the gripping hand. Um, it doesn't yet include uh, any servo mechanism, um, but uh, I have reworked the palm uh, joiner so that there are two snapping components that hold the thumb upright. So while it prints flat, um, there are these two snap-in parts that keep it from um, laying out flat when, uh, and so there they are, unsnapped and held out. And in order to put them in place, you just bend the, the uh, thumb upwards and then snap that little piece in. And then this one has a little uh, knob snap. And I was really kind of checking out which uh, mechanism works uh, more reliably. And um, there's either the entirely compliant one, which uh, is this little tab that comes back in here and then uses the counter force of it pulling against the opposite side to uh, cause pushing on the uh, end. And that, that really works well. Um, and I'm, and it, uh, it prints easily, too. So I'm, I'm thinking about changing this one here over to that kind of design. Um, but I would need to create a slot for it to drop into uh, on this thumb part, which, you know, is no problem. It's a 3D printer. We can do that. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, all five fingers have uh, one tendon each, um, which is a massive simplification of our own uh, system. Um, although when I drive it from servos, I might end up doing um, two fingers per servo plus a thumb servo, just because um, otherwise it's going to take a lot of servos and I'm going to have to make it a little, quite a bit bigger in order to accommodate all of those. Um, but, you know, 3D printing, so I guess that's possible too. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for checking it out.